Now, the former uh, electoral agency chair of Ula Chebukati has written to Azimio La Moja coalition leader Raila Odinga demanding to be furnished with the video footage of that alleged visit uh, to the former Prime Minister's home during the election period. This was through lawyer TV Ogola, who says that Odinga should do that and failure to provide the video footage within seven days, he will take legal action. Uh, Wakili Dunstan, you also, you know, a lawyer on this end, but you also, I, I, you know, you wanted to be enjoined in the case during the tribunal, uh, something <laughs> happened. Uh, just tell us, I mean, from your standpoint as a, uh, you know, a lawyer and uh, from a legal point, w does this hold water? Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'll uh, <coughs> confess that I'm the Azimio lawyer, so... Mm -hmm. I'm so probably even even better to get a reference yes. from you on what uh, we the question that uh, my good friend was uh, and the congratulation for marrying just the other day mm -hmm. to Fogola is that they are demanding for it. Contextualize this to the issue of uh, bombers. At bombers, Chipkati says there were three elders from Azimio who came to see him. And that's what I wanted to ask at the tribunal, the Mturule tribunal. That is a constitutional bedroom mm -hmm. that is created for only Chebukati and the six commissioners and accredited agents or parties. For God's case, how did the Tuju get himself at midnight at, and uh, Wako at the bombers? Chebukati cannot answer that. Because that is a constitutional bedroom. Zainab, not even the media, it's kept at the plenary. But these strangers came at midnight. What were they carrying and what, why, why were they allowed there? Could uh, my good friend Arnold be allowed to go and see Jebukati? That question is still landing. Number two, Raila Odinga has said that Jebukati came to see him and Wakil is asking for for the video. Of for the sake of uh, Chebukati, let me give him a chronology. When the Chief Justice was appointed, recruited, she issued a, a demand letter, a threat to Nelson Harvey. She never pursued that threat. When William Ruto, then the Deputy President, and Boniface, Boniface Wang, sued Boniface Wang. He, he abandoned that case as fast as he had filed it. When the Chief Justice, then uh, Emeritus David Maraga, demanded a, a, a similar letter from Amin Nasir, when the file went to court, the Chief Justice took off. If Chebukati wants to know what Kenyans think about him, is to allow himself to be a party in a court process. None has ever succeeded. When you are a public figure, a lot of issues are talked about. Mm -hmm. So I don't think anybody is going to respond to that letter. And we'll be expecting the go to court. Then the evidence shall be produced in court. But they have a right to demand what they are demanding. And they are opening up the question of the electoral processes. But, but I've given a kicker, I've given a chronology that no public figure, just ask Uhuru Kenyatta, he had to dash away from social media because he realized under Article 35, under Article 34, Kenyans have a right to talk anything. Ray Lodinga will say what he wants to say. If you think that... Even impugning the character of, uh, you know, a former... Uh, chairperson of an independent institution like IEBC and look this is part of what the letter says our client is aggrieved that you took no caution or responsibility while making the adverse remarks with the consequence that our client has suffered and continues to suffer serious reputational uh, injury taking into account his status and position as a former chair of IEBC Nobody, his reputation has come into one of the defenses against defamation is the truth is about proof justification and the public office Chebukat was holding a public office based on that anybody will tell him whatever he wants to be told no court is going to award him anything if he'll be given damages he'll be given nominal damages of one shilling or two shillings 
he should be advised properly that he has no recourse in a court of law when he was holding the office of the chair of, if it is a, a private entity, a private person, then there is a recourse for defamation. Uh -oh. But public officers, public officers, for example, the similar matter I was having yesterday that uh, Adem CEO of Korogosho has, has called either the president Mwizi from State House. You can't sue anywhere. The president cannot take the dock to give evidence. So this is the realities of law that now this matter is playing into the hands of Azimio. Because Chebukati is, as I said, Kenya Kwanza have no strategists. They should take my good friends here to be their strategist. Okay. You have got to ac assess your statement, your actions, the reaction that is going to generate. Chebukati now. So what you're saying is, you know, as a, a part of the legal representative of Azimio, are we not going to get any response with regard we'll, to this letter? We'll wait for them. They have given seven days. Right. Six days remaining. Let them file the matter. We will respond appropriately in court. Okay. Let's hear from... Uh, and we'll, pro we'll produce that evidence. we we'll give them the, the tape for what? Mm -hmm. So that they do it with it what? All right. Can they punish? Can they do anything with it? The only entity in this country that has the power to take action over any uh, malpractice is the judiciary. So we are advising them, let them not even wait for seven days. Let them go to court today. We shall provide the evidence that we have within the show. That is a way to gag Azimio okay. not to produce. That is a panic mode. I've told you, Zainab, Chebukati has panicked. Okay, let's because the reality is coming up. And remember, there are two okay. tapes. There are two tapes. There is Tuju so we saying expect that. he visited. Okay. Raila said he visited. And I've raised the third issue. Under which law did Chebukati allow strangers to enter into a constitutional bedroom that we have only given seven commissioners and accredited agents of four presidents. Okay, let's hear from Manu. You know, Wakili Omar here is actually a very good salesman of fear. <laughs> if you ever sat and uh, if words in and of themselves uh, constituted uh, what uh, the basis upon which people would make decisions, you would run away. <laughs> the truth is that uh, uh, Chebukati has got a case. And uh, what he simply said in so many words, colorful, done by my friend Steve Ogola, is simply to say prove. Mm -hmm. Without proof, right. then we will do it, we will sue, which is a recourse that is allowed in law. So, uh, uh, don't take Wakili Omari's uh, words as, uh, as if they are actually hewn in rock. No, that is a lawyer threatening <laughs> the other side, and it's part and parcel of strategy. <laughs> so, he says that, uh, of course, uh, uh, Chibukati will not hear from them. And uh, he speaks from, we will. So, he's already responding. And you can actually be certain that as sure as the sun rises from the east and sets in the west, Baba will be responding to that uh, particular letter. Uh, if not uh, through a lawyer, like he already has through a kill here, mm -hmm. he'll be doing that in Kibra during the rally. So there will be a response. And whatever the response, then uh, it will actually either give uh, Steve Ogola's right uh, to move on and then either sue. Or then, of course, uh, pick whatever uh, course of uh, recourse that they actually choose. Mm. 